These are my top 5 rare heroes in Guardian Tales. From tanks and supports to damage dealers, rare heroes have got you covered. Even though being a class or rarity less than unique heroes, some of them really pull their weight and are better than some unique heroes or can even be better in the future when they receive their ascension. Let's start, shall we? Now for our top 5, Awoba, the lazy leaf fairy we see in the hidden quest of World 1. I feel like there are other heroes that deserve this place, but for me, as someone who used Awoba when I didn't have Mia before, she's pretty good, but I don't recommend you investing everything on her. I know Mia is easily available now for new players, but Awoba's exclusive weapon and her kit as a rare hero is much easier to get and invest on, that's why I put her here. This makes her quite the viable healer even in early game. Although her party buff, being a specifically earth type, attack might not be preferred by some, but I hope her ascension will make her much better. Now for our top 4, Goko. The Inuit girl we see in World 8 Mount Shivering. I put her as the top 4 because she's basically useful for raids if you don't have Andras. And before, she was the meta raid unit when Andras was not added yet. This makes her useful for stages that are similar to raid, such as boss rush or maybe even expedition. The damage you can get from just using her instead of Andras of course would be quite low. But considering that she's going to receive an ascension soon, by the time that I'm recording this video, I think she would be pretty good. Now for our top 3, Elvira. She's one of the first heroes to get an ascension. And I know she's only useful in fire raid but she's a decent DPS. If you're not building a fire range team, I don't recommend you investing in her completely because ascension takes a lot of resources. I can't really say that much since I haven't ascended her yet, but she seems good as a DPS. Now for our top 2, Craig. Also one of the first heroes to get an ascension. What makes him so good is the fact that he can prevent squishy heroes from dying instantly because of his special ability. But since he's a tank, he's not compatible for all game mode types such as raid or boss rush. His party buff is universal, being able to fit in any team. Craig also has insane toughness surpassing FP and Ogma when fully invested on. He's a pretty solid hero for story and a good option for a double tank team. You don't need to worry about your glass cannons dying for most of the time when he's around. Now for our top 1, Karina, the vampire girl we meet in World 1. She's literally so insane, dealing massive amounts of damage while healing teammates in any game mode type. She's so worth it to invest on, especially if you have a dark range team. The change in her abilities from her non-ascended form is pretty good. The fact that she's a rare hero that makes her exclusive weapon easier to max out or max limit break. She can activate a chain skill on her own because she passively uses her weapon skill even when she isn't the party leader. Unfortunately, her party buff is only for dark type attack, so it doesn't make her compatible for every team. But for me, she's still a pretty solid hero to invest on because she's a hero that fits for every game mode type. Well, that was the top 5 list. Here's just a quick list of the special mentions just in case they have a good ascension. Akayuki has massively high DPS for a rare hero with no ascension. Hekate has good DPS potential. Knight just for being the main character of the story. Rachel actually a decent DPS in early game. And Gremory for being a good debuffer similar to Koko. Well, that's all for this video. Here's a collection guide and a video that YouTube thinks is the best for you. Thank you and see you next time.